Hey there, this is Stacy. I hope everyone's having a great day. I am obviously in a different location. I'm trying different lighting and camera techniques and all. So let me know what you think in the comments below about that. And so what I'm gonna do today is share with you some of my skincare that I've been using for the past year. As a beauty blogger, I am actually sent a lot of different products for review and I review them most often on my blog, obviously. But now that I am coming back to YouTube, I wanted to share a bunch of those products here. Now, um, I've got a major stack of products right here next to me, and some of these products I purchased with my own money, and some of these products were sent to me. And I will try my best to tell you which are which, because I know people care. Um, whether I bought a product or whether it was sent to me will not change my opinion of the product. Um, it is what it is. And these are actually mostly products that I do like and have multiple products from these lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So what I did was I arranged the products here on the table next to me in alphabetical order, uh, not by the product itself, but by the product line. That way I can kind of go from A to Z and we can get through it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with A, which is Avon. And so I use a bunch of Avon skincare products. Avon really is kind of on the cutting edge. You guys don't realize it, a lot of companies base their products off of Avon's products. And so they're just sort of scientifically um, always trying to find the latest and greatest, doing all kinds of research on products. So if you don't use Avon, um, I highly recommend it. It's been around obviously for over a hundred years now, I believe, and I'm actually an Avon rep. I can put that link down below, but you can use anybody that you like to purchase your Avon products. So one of the products that I really like is this cleanser, and this is called the Anu Clean Refining Daily Scrub. And what I like about a daily scrub product is that it's soft and it's moisturizing, but at the same time, it has just kind of like some exfoliating types of beads in it that really get your face feeling cleaner. And there's days where I kind of feel like I need that, you know, especially on hot, humid days or days where I may have, you know, kind of some flaking and all and I kind of want to get rid of it. I recommend this product. So that's the Renew Clean Refining Daily Scrub. Um, this one is actually empty and I need to put it in an empties video. And another product that I like from the same line from the Anu Clean is this, which is their Micellar Cleansing Water. And this one's just a little bit different to me than a lot of other cleansing waters that I use. I just feel like, this is going to sound really weird, but I feel like it's a thicker water than other waters. And so anyway, I like to use it for taking off my eye makeup, my face makeup. I just use it on a cotton pad and I really like that. So I use it sort of like a pre-wash. I'll take off all my makeup and then use a cleanser or on occasion, I admit it, I'm lazy and I just don't feel like cleaning my face at night and going through the whole routine. I'll just use this to remove my makeup and at least I know my makeup's off my face. No more mascara on my eyes, no more eye makeup on my eyes. I just think at least you're doing something to get your makeup off at night is better than nothing. So that's a product that I really like. Next, we'll go to D and this is the Derma E. And this is their Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. It's a scrub that has marine algae and activated charcoal in it. So days when I may be feeling a little bit oilier or I am breaking out, because I still get to do that, lucky me, um, this is a good product for you. This is for normal and oily skin. So again, I use this type of product when I feel like I need more of that deep down clean. And then another product from them would be this, and this is just their Firming. D-M-A-E, which maybe is for Derma E. Um, this is their eye lift, and they call this with instant lift and advanced peptides, and it's just to hydrate the eye area. I really like this as just an eye cream um, in the evenings or under my makeup during the day. Then I'm going straight from D to K, and we are here now with Kiehl's. And Kiehl's has some really cool skincare products. I recently, uh, just a few months ago, went to one of the Kiel stores and kind of had a personalized apothecary, what they call experience, where I met with one of their consultants who went through my skin with me and we determined what factors were the ones that were most concerning to me, which were most visibly um, obvious and how we were gonna correct them. So they came up with a personalized skincare regimen for me. Um, and they gave me this little bottle to take home and I kind of mixed it up at home with the ingredients that were best for me for maybe reducing fine lines, I think was mine, and um, maybe some of the brown spots that I have, the aged spots that I have. 
So um, that product's great, but what I really love is their cleanser. And this is their Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. And as you guys know, cleansing oils are really, really big right now. I think both as cleansing oils, as well as oils for your face for moisture and other things. So the Kiehl's, this is a really good product. Um, my own personal um, scent preference would not be this. I am not into lavender at all. I know a lot of people really like lavender, but my nose is just really sensitive. I get headaches really easily. So I wish this had a little bit less of a scent. So if you're sensitive to scents, and especially the botanical type things, then this wouldn't be for you. But if you like um, cleansing oils, this is a great one to try. And speaking of cleansing oils, I joined the Le Metier de Boutte, their VIP sort of box, subscription box program that they have. Um, I finally was able to remember when they had it coming up, and so I subscribed to it way back in, I think August is when it started. So every month they send me a product, and this product is one of my favorites, actually. And this is um, a whole greasy on the outside here, but this is their cleansing oil. And so I love this oil just as a nice cleanser to take off my makeup, moisturize my skin. Um, as you guys know, this is a very expensive line. I feel like this bottle itself right here is absolutely gorgeous, but it's about $100. And as we know, there's drugstore products that are good for your skin, and a lot of times you can just get away with those. A lot of times you do need to spend more money on more expensive products, maybe to get some of the results that you want to see, but you don't always have to. But anyway, this is, I think, $98, which is obviously a little bit expensive. But I really like it, so I do recommend it. Next, I'm gonna talk about Osmosis. Now, Osmosis is a line that I have been using for over a year now. Okay, so I told you I'd tell you what I bought and what I didn't buy. The Avon products I purchased with my own money. The Derma E products were sent to me for review, and I do have a lot more products from this line that I review here and on my blog. If I have a post that I've done on my blog for any of these products, I'll link it down below as well. The Kiehl's product was a product that was given to me when I went the day I had that personalized apothecary little experience done. And the Le Metier de Boutte product, this one I did purchase because I purchased the year long subscription to this beauty box program. So those are the ones that I forgot to talk about. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and talk about Osmosis. Osmosis is a line that is a very holistic line, natural line, a very scientifically based, put out by a doctor named Dr. Ben Johnson. You can read about him all on his website. His products are fabulous. I go to an esthetician and these are the products that she uses. So some of these products I purchased myself and a few of these products I was sent for review. So the first one is their cleanser. They have several cleansers. I've tried the Purify one, and this one is the Deep Cleanse. It's a detox cleanser. It's just sort of like a creamy gel type of product. I love this for taking off my makeup, for washing my face, for again, getting a deep clean like it's called. I feel like it does take off all of my makeup. I use it on days just kind of like your normal average day for taking off makeup. It's not one that I would use for any kind of really um, exfoliating kind of day where I've either been sweating or I just need a deeper clean, but this is a fabulous cleanser. Uh, the Purify one I didn't like as much. I personally felt like that one dried my skin out a little bit. Then there's a bunch of different products that are geared more toward some of your problem skin areas that you might be experiencing. So this is the first one that I purchased. It's called Stem Factor. So it's kind of like a stem cell type of a product. And this product is called a Growth Factor Serum. And I use this um, all over my face in the morning. Um, I'm hoping it's giving me a more youthful look. It is really expensive. It's actually $140, but a little bit goes a long way and it lasts me a really long time. This is actually my second one that I purchased. 
Then another product from the line is this. This is called Enlighten. Enlighten is a pigment fading serum. It's um, hydroquinone free. You're supposed to use this product to get rid of some of the photo damage that you have on your face. I personally mostly have been using it here on either side of my face. I feel like this is kind of where I have most of the brown spots on my face um, from photo damage from all those years in the sun. And of course the left side's always worse because that's the side that is um, closest to the sun, light, the daylight altogether when you're driving your car. So that's the Enlightened product. Then this product is called Correct. And what the Correct product is, um, my level is the level three. It comes in different levels, but this is a vitamin A serum. And so this is a nighttime serum. And the vitamin A serum is a lot more gentle on your skin than using products that are like Retin-A. Retin-A and I just don't get along very well. I have no patience for flaky, peely, inflamed skin. So for me, using a product like this, I'm getting my vitamin A, which we all know we need for anti-aging to kind of reverse some of the damage and to expose some of our newer cells that are underneath that damaged skin. So this is a nice, gentle way to do it. And this one is $65 and I did purchase this one myself. The next is the Refresh PM and I did do a review of this one on my blog. This is a really thick eye serum. I'm just gonna put a little bit here on my finger to show you guys what it looks like. It's yellow and it's pretty thick. And so what I do is I'll just put this on my finger and I'll just dab it under my eyes and leave it on my eyes overnight. I also use it above my lip area, you know, for the vertical lines and I use it on my lips as well if I have any leftover. And and so when I wake up in the morning, I feel like those areas are plumped up. It might be a little bit uncomfortable to some people, but I feel like it is so worth it. The last product that I have from Osmosis is this, and this is their Hydrolift Firming Gel Mask. And this is just sort of like a clear type of gel feel, um, feeling product. It just looks like this. I'm not sure if you can see it. But anyway, it's just like a clear gel. It kind of, to me, kind of has a little bit of a minty scent to it. And so this product is supposed to be used as a mask um, just to hydrate your face. So you can do this, you know, in the evening, maybe after you wash your face. But another thing that I was told I could do with it, which I am a huge fan of, is putting it under my eye as a moisturizer. So I can put this on at night and leave it under my eyes as a moisturizer. And I've also used it in the morning under my makeup. And it just kind of gives you a little bit more of a refreshed look around your eyes. Um, I have very dry skin around my eyes. So this helps a lot and I really like it. It's kind of just sort of one of those out of the box sort of things that you can do with a product. So the Osmosis products, like I said, most of them I bought myself. Several of them were sent to me, and this would be one actually that was sent to me for review um, upon my request on this particular product because I was quite intrigued with it. Most of the osmosis products you need to purchase from an esthetician. My esthetician does have an online shop, so you can purchase directly from her. I will leave her link down below, or you can purchase from other websites online, and I might leave a link or two for some different ones that I know of that carry the products that are reputable companies. So there's that. Then, um, since I was talking about lip products, um, using the Refresh on my lips, I wanted to just mention two other products that I really liked during the past year for hydration of the lips. Um, obviously, with all of the lip products that most of us use, um, having a good lip balm, lip moisturizer, um, lip exfoliator, just whatever works for you so you can have the best application, the smoothest application for your lip products. And this is one that I really liked. This is from Drunk Elephant, and Drunk Elephant has sort of been maybe a bit of a trendy type of a product here in the last year or so. And this is their Lippy, L-I-P-P-E. Um, they call this Moisture, Moisturize and Volumize, and it has Mongongo nut oil, avocado seed oil, and peptides in it. So it's products that are good for your lips as well and the skin on your lips. And so it just comes in a little thing like this, a little tube like this, and it's wider than what you would um, use for, you know, like most of your chapstick type products. And you can see there's hardly anything left in here. Um, it is pretty much used up. I can now use it just kind of on my finger and rub it in. But as far as getting any more out, um, and kind of rubbing it on my lips. It doesn't really work anymore because I liked it that much and used it that often. And so I just apply this several
several times a day and this is a fabulous product I think it's like $22 I bought mine at Sephora and then without having to spend a lot of money this is a product that I got I don't even know I think this came in one of my boxes and this is from Epic Blend it is the hemp raspberry pomegranate and it is just a lip balm it's gluten free and all that kind of stuff but um, it's just a lip balm like most others but for some reason there's something in this and I'm gonna guess it's probably some sort of hemp seed oil since it's a hemp product that really does a great job at hydrating the lips so that's one that I would recommend as well and I'm sure it's got to be under five dollars then my last category here of skincare products is from a company called Rodeol and they are a skincare company um, and actually cosmetics out of the UK and they do sell here in the US I'm not sure what stores sell their products um, I believe Nordstrom and a couple places like that do sell them I'll put some links down below to some of their products but I'm gonna just share with you some of the products that I really really like from the line I've done some reviews on my blog and I will be doing a bunch more because I've tried all kinds of products from them so um, in the order that I would use them on my face um, this would be the first one and it sounds kind of like a wicked crazy um, sort of I don't know voodoo kind of a product but it's really not it's called their snake booster oil freeze and smooth and so what I do is I take this product out of here um, it just comes with like a little dropper type of an applicator and I will just use a few drops of this and place this oil under my eyes and actually I put it around my lips anytime I have a product and I'm using it on wrinkles under my eyes I will use it on these lovely vertical lines that I've gotten above my lips so I'll put it there too and what it says is that it's a concentrated facial oil for expression lines and wrinkles with sin s y n dash a k e so that's where they call it snake sin ache dye peptide and targeted peptides so i use this as just sort of like a moisturizer in those areas hoping to plump up those areas and kind of freeze them i can't say it really freezes anything but i do feel like the areas look so much better when i use the product so I recommend that one and so when I get done putting that on my face I will use this and this is the Rodeals Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel it's to hydrate and tone and it says XXL pumping formula to volumize skin appearance with collagenier and volume fine and so anyway whatever that means this is a really cool moisturizer part of it is because it's a gel and it just sort of feels to me like it has a totally different formula than a lot of moisturizers that I use um, I think that's kind of a rare thing to have gel moisturizer at the same time so it just comes like this and what I love the most about it is what a lot of companies are doing that have tubs of products that we don't want to put our hands in but it has this little part right here where you just push down and the product just comes up through there so then you just rub it off and rub it on your face but um, it just has this really nice sort of bouncy feel to it it's super duper moisturizing and I will use it um, on my neck because I'm getting um, just right along right here I feel like just sort of some wrinkly sort of area that I don't really care for but um, anyway this is a fabulous product for moisturizing and it works beautifully it absorbs so quickly into the skin and I use it under my makeup um, it does have a slight um, I guess what you would call maybe more of a botanical scent to it if you're sensitive to scents you might not like it but I feel like it dissipates really fast and I love that product two more products from the same line that I use are a mask um, one is called the Glamoxy snake mask to freeze and smooth it's one of those black masks that you put on your face and it kind of dries out and you peel it off and I love to do that just every so often you know maybe every other week to just sort of remove some of those dead skin cells get those off the face because we don't want those in the way of our makeup application and another product that I use from them is this one I haven't been using this one as long this one is their super acids extreme hangover mask and this one is for resurfacing and refining and so I've only used this one a few times this one is their triple action resurfacing clay mask with hexapeptides which we all know all those peptides are great for our skin and then it also has glycolic and fruit acids and probiotic technology so that's another mask that I like this is one um, that's more of like 
not your typical thick clay mask that really dries and hardens. Um, actually, it doesn't harden at all. Um, you just put it on and then after about five or 10 minutes, just kind of rub it around and then rinse it off. Um, with lukewarm water. So those are two of the facial masks that I've really loved lately. Um, and speaking of which, there's one more that I really like from the Osmosis line called Polish. And it's also like an enzyme type of a mask that really um, is good at antioxidants and exfoliating um, and all. It kind of has maybe a little bit of a tingly, burny feeling, but it smells like cranberry and it smells fabulous. All of the Rodeal products that I did share today are ones that were sent for me for review um, on my blog, but I do like them that much. And that is why I wanted to share them with you guys here. So that's all of the basic skincare that I've been using here for the past year or so, um, just kind of mixing products in and out. I have sort of combination skin. It can be sensitive, I can get rosacea, and if you have rosacea, um, the kind that I have, which is where you get the kind of like pimple-like things on your face, and it's not your typical acne pimple. It's just sort of this, its own weird breed of, they call them papules and pustules, and regular acne products do not work with them. However, I do sometimes get regular acne spots. I kind of have to treat my face, I would say, on a daily basis, a minute by minute basis, because if something starts going wrong in one spot, I can put a product on it there, and then the rest of the face might not need it. Sometimes my T-zone can be oily. I'll use different products there as opposed to drier areas on my cheeks. So for me, it's sort of just not a game that I have to play every day, but I really have to be in tune with my own skin to know which products to use uh, for me on a particular day. I have not had any Botox for over a year. Uh, I personally am contemplating having it just kind of done here in the 11s area. I do have some facials that I get done once a month right now, and it's kind of like a microcurrent facial where it kind of exercises your face basically for you. Uh, the microcurrents go in your face and exercise those muscles kind of so that you don't have all of your fine lines and wrinkles. I hope everybody enjoyed my video. I hope there's something here that can help you in your skin and maybe you found useful. If there are some products that you're loving, leave them down below in the comments. I would love to know what they are. I'm always on the search for the fountain of youth. Um, I think we all probably are to some degree. So I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Don't forget to use your SPF and I will see you all again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.